Hello everyone, this is Rishi Brandon Stafford with ExpeditiousFool.com, putting mindfulness in motion, as well as founder of Fellowship of Universal Truth Yogic Ministries. And today I have another channeled message from Spirit for you, so let me go ahead and get out of the way. Do you need a spiritual or psychological authority? That's a question you have to ask yourself deeply. Now, at the realist level, no, you don't. But depending on how caught up in the illusion you are, you may, how honest you can be with yourself. How, how well you know how to deeply go inside to read this book that is yourself, to, to read all of the words on the inside and actually see what it is without delusion, without, without adding on extra things that you've collected from the outside. How adept are you at that? If you're very adept at exploring yourself in all of the ways with the utmost honesty, with the only priority being growth and evolution, then no, you don't need any spiritual authority, psychological authority. You'll be able to work it all out. But if you can't look at yourself with that much honesty, that much purity and make changes accordingly. That's when you should look to someone who has learned how to do that and is teaching you the skills to do that for yourself, not to rely on them, but teaching you to do those skills for yourself. That's how you know the difference. That's how you know when you need guidance or when you can look in here, you can always just look in here. But sometimes we put so much on ourselves, it makes it seem impossible. So that's why you would seek some guidance elsewhere. It's that way that person can show you the possibilities that exist within your own, your own being. Show you how limitless you actually are. That's kind of how to use that discernment. I hope this helps everyone today. Figure it a little bit farther out. Have a great day on purpose and stay mindful. Namaskar.